Hello, it's Michelle and today we are doing a total tone and sculpt workout. Should be about 18 minutes and we'll start in about 15 seconds. We're going to start with some side lunges. So we're going to do two minutes of a warm up and then we'll go into the routine. So in about six, five, four, three, two, one, we're going to do some side lunges. You can just keep your hands just above your knees going right and left, keeping your back nice and straight. And about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Then we're gonna go to a cat cow on all fours, just arching the back up and out. We'll be moving child's pose to a cobra in about eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna come back into a child's pose. back and forth, waking up the body, whether it's morning, midday, afternoon, maybe it's at night time. And about two seconds, we're going to go right into a downward dog. So heels up, downward dog, or just pressing down your heels, pushing into your hands. Checking our time. About eight seconds. Four, three, two, and take a breather. So our first move is going to be a dead bug. We're gonna lay on our back with our hands down, hands behind, actually keep our hands down. And right leg taps, left leg taps, right leg taps, left leg taps. So we're gonna go through these moves two times through. Twenty seconds to go. Tapping right and left. You can do both legs if you like. And we have about eight seconds. And you have 15 second rest. You can get ready to go on all fours for our bear. So we're going to come up, push our hands down, coming up. Three, two, one, let's begin. And you're just gonna bring right leg back, left leg back, right leg back, and left leg back. So pretend I have a glass on your back. You're keeping it nice and straight. You're doing amazing. Next, we're going to do a plank with the toe taps. And we're just about there in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So we're going to go into a plank. And we're just going to hold the plank, or if you'd like, you can have the toe taps. And let's begin. So we're holding the plank. Your arms are completely locked. They're a little bit bent. And you can tap right and left, left if you like. Keeping the abs in. 
or you can just hold that plank as well. If you're modifying, you can just be on your knees or down on your elbows. And we're almost there. Tap right, tap left, tap right, tap left, and eight, five, and rest. Just a little shoulder roll. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge. So you're gonna be standing up. You could put your hands at your waist. Stepping back with the right, stepping back with the left. You can speed them up if you like, or you can keep them slower. And you don't have to go too far behind. Breathing, keeping your shoulders back. Fifteen seconds. Try to keep your knees straight ahead as you do this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Swing your arms around. We're going to come down on all fours, and we're going to do donkey kicks. So you're on all fours. Three, two, one, and just bringing your right leg up and down. Flex your foot, keeping your back nice and straight. Pretend you're balancing something. And switch. I think I switched a little bit too early, but that's okay. Keep going. And rest. We're going to get ready for a wall sit. So just, you can just swing your arms back and forth. We've got a few more seconds. Four, three, two, one. And you're either sitting on the back of a wall. We need Lean to about 90 degrees. If you don't have a wall, no problem. You can just come forward and kind of hold a squat. So I'm going to use a wall since I have one. And just hold. We've got about 15 seconds. Keep breathing in and out. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna do heel raises. Starting now, so you're bringing your right and your left heel up at the same time. Standing up nice and straight. If you want to do, you can, if you want, you can do right and left heel. Or both, or maybe do a combination of right, left heel, and both heels. So we're going to go back to the dead bug after this move. And we'll go through all seven exercises and then we'll go to our cool down. Five, four, three, two, one, and get ready to come down on your back for the dead bug. Keep your palms down, and you're either doing right and left leg or both legs. And let's start right, left, and make sure you're breathing. So the bear is our next move. And maybe you're doing both legs. Five, four, three, two, one. 
You're doing an amazing job. Only six more exercises and then we head to our cool down. And keeping your back down on the mat. Five, four, three, and rest. So we're getting ready to go back into all fours. And we're gonna do that there. So we're pushing down, lifting our knees up and holding, push right leg back, push left heel back. Right, keeping that back nice and flat. We're working the arms, we're working the abs, we're working the legs. And you're keeping your arms right under your shoulders. I just caught myself lying more, a bit more forward. Tap, tap, and we're just about there. And rest, and then we're going into that plank move. You need about 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And we're gonna hold that plank. And if you'd like, you're tapping right foot, tapping left foot. Tapping right, tapping left, keeping those abs in, back straight. Keep that stomach in. We have a curtsy lunge after this move. And you can just hold as well. We're almost there in eight, five, four, three, two, and rest. And we're coming up. Swing the arms around. We're getting ready for that curtsy lunge. And right leg back, left leg back. Again, you can speed it up if you like. Make sure the knee doesn't go over the toe. We've got the donkey kicks after this move. So you're almost kind of doing a tap, but a lunge back there, but you don't have to go really far back. In the back nice and straight. Five, four, three, two, one. And head down on all fours for the donkey kicks. And starting with the right leg in four, three, two, one. Kicking up the right. Make sure you're not like arching the back. Keep the back nice and straight. And go up as high as you can, not super high, just keeping the form intact and being able to go up. So I'm going up to just about that high. Maybe you're going lower, that's fine too. Let's switch left. We're almost there, you are doing so great. Only a couple moves left. Rest and you're getting ready for the wall sit. And doing some head rolls while we're waiting. One more round. And getting ready for that wall sit. And begin. Just hold. Maybe you have a chair, maybe you don't have a wall. You can just sit on the chair. Pretend like you're sitting on a chair. And our last move is the plie squat, squat after this.
You've got this. You've got this. You're almost there. Don't quit now. Eight. Five. And rest. And we're getting ready for the heel. Heel lifts. So it's a plie squat with the calf raise. And you're coming up with both feet or you're coming up right and left. Keep going, keep going. Even if you have to go right and left. If you have to stand for a second, that's okay too. Come back into it. You've got 10 seconds to go. And rest. And just So we're at the cool down. We're going to do a chest stretch. So bring your hands behind your back. You can just sway side to side if you want. You can kind of rock your hips around while we're doing this. We'll just rock side to side. This is a really good posture move too. It's one I tried to do a couple times a day. And then we're moving to our overhead tricep stretch. So right arm up, bring your left hand to your right elbow, gently, gently, gently pull and switch. And back to the right. And to the left. And we're moving into our figure four. So you're putting your left, you might need your wall for support. So you're putting your right, right foot over your left knee, just above your knee, and you're just holding. And switch to the left. Some days my balance is better than others. And we're going to get ready to come up and we're going to come to a forward bend and just hold behind your ankles. And just rock side to side. And we're just about finished your tone and sculpt. And that's it. You're finished. Until next time, bye. Enjoy the rest of your day.